Hey, this is Fool Game Prometheus giving you first gameplay of Madden 20. I'm going to be rolling uh, with the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook. I've got a little mini scheme that I put together. Um, on defense, I'm going to be using normal formation. I'm going against the uh, Saints, which is one of the best teams in the game. And I've obviously got one of the better defenses in the game. I'm going to use a very simple defense uh, against my opponent. Hopefully I'll be able to go ahead and shut down the run. Um, but I'm going to try to hit, hit him with a lot of pressure because I've got a fairly easy setup for pressure. On offense, I'm still playing around. So I don't know how many, ga how many games this guy's got. I don't know if he had EA access early on uh, that will make things difficult for me so let's just go ahead um, and we're going to pop this guy with cover six and uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to sh sh set up a defense which is going to be a cover four uh, a drop uh, cover four uh, defense with Wham, and he goes house. Uh, God damn it. Big play for him, but that's all right. These guys probably played a couple games. I haven't played any. Uh, nice, huge play for him. Just based on his angles, this guy knows what he's doing. Um, he need to get stupid with his angles. Um, and I actually came out and just tried to do uh, kind of an aggressive blitz uh, type situation. The problem with this particular game, and what I don't like about the Madden 20, is that they've really given um, a no-huddle offense a huge advantage in this game, um, opposed to what we've had in the past. And uh, it's not uh, when you when you give an opportunity, when you give the 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 offensive opponent an opportunity to go ahead and set up easy um, easy plays, it just it really hamstrings the play. So okay, let's see here. We're gonna stay with. Let's see here, mesh, and then we're going to get rid of that. Don't get it twisted. Good play. Good play by him. I need to switch my, def my um, uh, guys around a little bit as far as setting them up. Um, when I was practicing labbing earlier uh, with play now, uh, basically, I had to uh, get something set up. So actually, he took a timeout, and that's what we want. So we're going to get rid of Y stick. We're going to use this curl play. This wheel curl play might be a play that I'm going to just completely dump. Uh, but here's a good play I really like. This Y shallow cross. We're going to go ahead and take. We're going to go ahead and take our, our um, wide receiver uh, and actually put him in a slot. And I think that's Cordell Patterson that we've got in the slot. Just try to establish the run a little bit against this guy with the with the jet sweep. So we got Patterson right here. And that's not the play I'm looking for. And drop pass right there. Probably should have got rid of that a little bit quicker, but that was the right read. Uh, just didn't get rid of the ball quick enough. So if this guy stays in cover three, I've got some cover three beaters for him. So big run from the very beginning. I might want to run it a cover, run it to uh, a cover four. So he took another time out. This guy's having a hard time getting himself set up. Don't get it twisted. And he's taking two timeouts already. Let's see if he's using some kind of a blitz here. Do not like inside run. There you go. So his guys were completely spread out and able to go ahead and run right up the middle against that cover three lock um, play. So I think 
think this guy likes to run a lot of cover three. Now he's showing off, so he's showing me cover four. There you go. No, probably should have spun right there. Just don't have the mechanics down yet. So this play is a little bit weird too. It's a little bit glitchy. He took another time out. I don't know what this guy's doing. Let's see if he goes into some kind of a man alignment here. So he actually just, he came across and didn't even know where he was going with it. So pinch dog two, right press right there. Be able to go and get a, a fairly easy completion for a couple yards. on correctly right there. So able to go and pick up a touchdown against them. Back to the pinch dog to press. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and settle for the points here. And hopefully we don't miss this. So able to go ahead and get that through. Don't get twisted. Good kick. I should have had all the leg right there. This guy's got a noodle leg. All right, so I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come with a uh, safety blitz here. to spread or actually went into some kind of a stretch play right there. Good play. Good play right there. He picked it up. Damn it. I ran commit. I ran commit right there, and that's why I got it. So I hit the wrong controller. Then it's just I, I, I lab Matt, I lab basically the the, uh, the defense a little bit right there. Uh, but my mechanics, I've been doing the same type of stuff for God knows how long. And even the pros have been caught with this type of situation. So for me to be coming after this guy in a blitz uh, is probably not a smart thing for me to do right away. Uh, because I do have some pretty good block shutters on my team. 
uh, but I have also can get this guy on his back. I I'm probably going to have to abandon the blitz and just go with coverage against this guy and, let and have him make plays against me coverage-wise. So, uh, two blown cover, uh, two blown defensive coverages. Uh, probably need to just go with more of a coverage type stuff. So let's go ahead and jump back into this offense again. Um, so, go to the jet torch pass, uh, torch pass, and do I have the right setup here? Keep checking it down. This guy's coming after me with some pressure too. Go back to that uh, that uh, basically jet jet play. That's just gonna be our base play. I haven't really hit this guy with it yet. Probably could do it right now. Let's see, he's he's pretty sporadic. So that's just basically good stick right there and getting a big play against them, against cover two. So able to go ahead and get a, another play opportunity. I just got to maybe just stay in coverage with this guy and just let him make mistakes. Because uh, getting down uh, getting down these uh, new adjustments on defense is, is, is huge. It's not easy. And when you're playing a live game, you get a little bit more nervous and your fingers get a little bit tighter. Uh, your fingers get a little bit more sweatier and it just it, you don't make you don't make the best adjustments and you can get yourself in those type of situations where you where you're running them. So let's just go back to this defense, which is gonna be the safety blitz three. took off this quarterback right there and I got no pressure against him <sighs> that is just bunk you know, this guy he's he does not playing like he's got an offensive scheme he's got a, a couple of different plays against me but nothing nothing very spectacular and he's not that good on defense but I'm still the score side 14-14 because of uh, just crappy adjustments. There you go. Spot route. I like this play. This route actually gets wide open. Patterson's able to come up with another catch right there for me. All right, 
right, so right there, able to get the ball down. I don't have any kind of um, scheme right now where I can run the ball effectively. Let's see, here's a stretch play with an RPO. He's got his guys pulled off. So I'll pick up the easy yards right there. Just keep working this clock against this guy. This is not what I want. Almost got picked off right there. I tried to squeeze it in quick. Um, the people didn't blitz the way I was expecting them to. Um, and that was actually just a huge problem right there. So it didn't work out for me. Let's try another jet suite right here with a, with, uh, with a halfback running. He doesn't overcommit. There you go. I'll take it. I'll take it. There you go. And I missed that. Totally missed it. Bad timing. All right, so up by a score, uh, but can give a garbage touchdown up to this guy. This guy, this kicker, has got a terrible, terrible leg. Terrible leg. You can't get it past the 10-yard line. Once again, just making bad decisions should stay in cover four, and I've just given this guy life. Giving him life. I jumped into a man coverage right there, went with a man blitz, just to see how he reacted to it, and he just ate me up. This guy, I'm not, he's not that great. He just keeps getting these one play touchdowns against me, and it's just because he's just, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's like, um, should just stay in cover four. I'm going to stay in cover four. Watch me change my mind. There you go. So this, this is just huge, huge plays right now. So I, I, that's a play I'm going to break down. It does blow up cover three. So I just get an easy touchdown against this guy. Probably should have took two there. But look at the scoring right now. Neither one of us have defense whatsoever. I've got a pretty built-in defense against, uh, against this guy, but I think I'm just going to stay in cover four. Let him make plays.
pressure coming after this guy. There you go. That's what I've been setting this guy up for. And just threw it right to Eddie Jackson. Eddie, make a place for me. Didn't make a good read at all. Just kind of threw it up. Doesn't know where he's going with the ball. Almost got him. Went up top right there. He actually pulled his guys down. He just took a shot up top. Do a shallow cross right here. Let's see if he jumps back into the coverage. So he's staying in this cover four drop. I gotta hit him with uh, shallow cross here, hit him on the back end side. Deep post. Deep post should be open. He stays in cover four. So Robinson should be open. There you go. No. All right, so I got one shot in the red zone here. Need to go up by two scores. <clears throat> Just take the points right there in this type of situation. He's gotten a lot of garbage points against me. It's not like he's sustained big drives. He's just got a lot of huge plays against me. And that's because I've been um, not adjusting correctly. I'm just uh, making bad adjustments on defense. Over aggressive on defense. That's been the, the name of the game. Wow. Camara almost returned that. So I think he should be giving the ball back to me, I believe. So he is. So we're just going to go ahead and return it right. And he 
just booted it outside of the out of the red zone. So that's that end zone. That's fine. I'll take it. So we're gonna stay back with the scheme here. Back to the jet sweep. I wish the jet sweep this jet sweep out of this spread formation and the gun actually had a couple plays to build off of it. Uh, they would be a little bit better. Uh, I've looked at some other formations um, in this Arizona playbook, but I like some of the play selection in this. There we go. So that's a glitchy route. It's a very, very glitchy route. I think I definitely got a completion there. I did. I had no reads. Uh, he was carrying over with my tight end. And there wasn't anything else to check down to, so the cover three just blew that up. Let's see if he stays with his cover three again. Cover, this cone should be open. No, that's just a bad pass. Uh, the ball sailed. Ball just sailed. Um, he took off. That was the right read. This guy's going to sit in this defense. Hellacious. I had a, him set up for a blitz and he quick hiked me. See? See what he did right there? And how he just basically quick hiked me and set it up. That's why you have to have a very fast defensive pressure set up.
Oof. Did he call me off sides or did he get off sides? Oh, he got off sides. There we go. This guy has no cover four beaters. <laughs> but he smartly takes his points. Cover 3 plays a little bit tighter this year. He's going to keep coming he's going to keep coming with this uh, cover 3 and I have to figure out how to break it down. Good run defense. In the fourth quarter here, oof. I'm not really too confident in this guy's offense. He's gotten a lot of huge plays against me, but he can't sustain a good drive. So he's got he's that cover three is basically my kills Achilles heel right now uh, with this offense. I don't necessarily have a lot of cover three beaters that I know of. I didn't I didn't practice a lot of that. He goes in a heavy set. I'll stay at 43.
So he's milking the clock right now against me. If I get a cut, if I get one stop, this game's over with. God damn it! Another run commit right there. I got away with a huge run right there. There you go. So, I don't feel goal range. He's got to go for it. Hit that. I don't know why he was going for it like that. That was stupid. This guy should have definitely went for it in that type of situation. That was not a good choice. We're going to come back to the halfback draw right here. Try to get a first down against him. He's, he's basically, he's got a kryptonite to me right now. Cohen's able to push forward right there, get me some yards. Should be a first down. Of course not. There you go. That should be first down right there. So, just made a lot of bad adjustments against this guy. Uh, but able to go and pick up a, a, a win against him. Uh, just carved up his off his his defense pretty much. But, once again, my subscribers, thank for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out some more gameplay for you soon. Thanks a lot.